What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Logan here, very enthusiastically recording my first episode of my Bloodborne playthrough on this channel. And the reason I am so fucking excited about this is because Bloodborne is probably one of my favorite games of all time. This game is genuinely magnificent. It is um, developed by From Software, which may sound familiar since they are the developers behind Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Demon Souls, Sekiro, Elden Ring was the newest big release that's a very widespread one, Game of the Year and everything. A bunch of their games have gotten Game of the Year. Um, but yeah, this is Bloodborne, um, one of their most critically acclaimed games, but only thing is it is a PS4, PS5 exclusive, but I found a way to record this off my PS5. And honestly, I this game is just such a blast. So I know I'm supposed to keep you, uh, you know, hooked on the video and keep you interested. But if you've never played Bloodborne and you're watching this right now, please go play Bloodborne. That is my warning to you. Go into the game spoiler free because this game is truly magnificent. And um, I, I just heavily recommend playing it for yourself. But if you've, if you've already played the game and you're here looking for a blind playthrough. I would just go ahead and put the warning out there. I've already played Bloodborne. I've already played it like two and a half times. Um, so if you're looking for a blind playthrough, this isn't a blind playthrough. I just wanted to do a playthrough of the game on the channel because I just, I just, I love this game so much, man. This game is super, super fucking good. So if the only, so at this point, the people who are watching this are either people who have already seen the game and are cool with watching someone play the game who's already played it before or people who uh, have never played the game before and they just don't care to go play it, which I heavily recommend those people change their minds because this game is amazing. It's very hard. It has a learning curve, but it is so rewarding and so great. I heavily recommend you go play it. But uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop in because I am, I'm really excited to start this. So play online. Oh Lord, this game is so good. I'm so excited. This game's the lore is so good too. You need only unravel its mystery. Okay, graphically, it's honestly fine throughout the game, but I will say on this little screen, this game does look pretty old looking, but um, it's alright. So, what do we do for our name? You know, we'll 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 just we'll just do the channel name. Nothing nothing too crazy here. Normally I like to kind of make some uh, like funny characters and stuff, but we'll we'll just wait no, that's my actual name. <laughs> I do my actual name. Yes, for everyone who didn't know, my actual last name is Fell, so yeah. Go ahead and get the where did you fall jokes out of the way. I'll, I'll give you a couple seconds. Oh, by the way, just so you know, you're not funny. I've, I've heard those jokes since I was a kid. Not original, not funny, didn't ask. All right. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll go with this. Why not? Kind of looks goofy. Okay. I don't, there's really not, the customization in this game is pretty good, but it's not as good as some of the other Souls games, so I don't, we don't put an insane amount of effort into the customization, so we will just go ahead and finalize the contract with just that character, because I'm fine with that. Guy's so damn suspicious, yeah, now he's laughing, <laughs> like, thinking a mere bad dream, and now he's laughing, dear god, and scary werewolf. It looks so cool. I feel I, I think I feel like the creature design in this game just is so good. Just the designs in general in this game. They go so crazy. Oh, yep. I'm still a little confused in this cutscene too. What exactly lit that guy on fire, but you know. It's fine. And the cute little messengers. They're like they're like so ugly that they're cute. Oh look at them. Look at those adorable little pumpkins. They're so nice. Alright. Oh yeah, and let me go ahead and uh, exclaim this to y'all too. Uh, if it looks like a little choppy or doesn't look amazing, I would like to go ahead and say that this game runs in 30 FPS. That is outside my control. Don't worry, I, I would love a Bloodborne remaster, but uh, it looks like they aren't giving it to us. It's, it's been forever and they haven't remastered this masterpiece. So uh, yeah, th this is just kind of how the game looks. Handwritten scroll. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. So I'm also not incredibly familiar with all, all of the lore. Um, but I do mo know a good amount of it, but I don't know all of it. Vadi Vidya has been trying to carry me to <laughs> getting all the lore. Okay, let's go. It's like this game, just the aesthetic of this game. Like, I I've always loved horror games, horror movies. I've always been a big fan of horror. This game is, like, hauntingly beautiful with just the aesthetics. Like, it looks so ugly, but, like... 
beautiful at the same time. It's really hard to explain, but I just, the aesthetic in this game is, it's fucking peak. I love the aesthetics of this game. Okay, yep, the werewolf. All right, let's go, blood. Boom. I'm the fistum. If I remember correctly, there's nothing really out in this courtyard. Closed by a device. Not very specific. He's got some Quicksilver bullets, but we don't have our gun or anything to actually shoot those. God, I love this game. I'm so excited to be playing this on the channel. Oh, this game is so good. Central Yarnum. It would be it would be great if I could actually kill this guy. Boom. Okay, nice. Killed him. Yeah, in this game, if you do a fully charged R2 to the back, it, like, instantly staggers them, and you can, uh, get a visceral attack off on them. It's awesome. Blood vial. I'll go over there here in a second. First, I want to bring down the old ladder. God, look how beautiful it is. Oh, uh, it's awesome. So now we're going to go to the Hunter's stream, so we can get our weapons and stuff and actually go ahead and get this playthrough really started. Awesome. All right, so we're in the Hunter's stream. If I remember correctly, there's nothing to see down this way. Taking damage from an enemy, there's a period of time in which attacking the enemy in return will restore a certain amount of your HP, so it's like a rally system. It uh, makes the combat really fast-paced compared to the other Souls games, and it makes the combat in this game just definitely better than the standard Dark Souls combat. Let's go ahead and receive our gifts from the messengers. These cute little guys. Look at them. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Oh, it's been longest since I've done a playthrough with the Hunter Axe. So I think I'll do one with the Hunter Axe. Just a nice in-between. Not too broken, but not bad. I don't think any of these weapons are really bad. I think a lot of the starting weapons are actually pretty good. But I guess we'll do Hunter Axe this playthrough. Because Hunter Axe is pretty fun. So we will do the Hunter Axe. Durability in this game is very rarely an issue, so I'm gonna go Hunter Pistol. God, I love Garman. Such cool lore behind him. Yeah, honestly, at this point, if you just haven't played this game before, I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of spoilers. I'm not gonna be too careful with what I'm saying during this playthrough. I'm gonna talk about later bosses. I'm gonna talk about some of the lore. So I would say this playthrough is more meant for people who have played Bloodborne before and just kind of want to chill and watch a playthrough or something because... Just please play this game. If you haven't, just please. You're missing out, I promise. This was once it's, it is very hard. I'll warn of that. It is, it's like about a 30-hour game, but it is so good. Where you find. You find. Then this next line. Even the dog, should it please you. Buy some, oh, there's just one little messenger. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. And, uh, yeah. Okay, it looks like we're about good to go ahead and leave the Hunter's Dream and go back to the actual stuff. We're gonna go back to the first floor sick room. The weapons in Bloodborne are so fucking awesome. Transform it into a weapon with better reach that swings slower and costs more stamina to swing, and I think it does a little less damage. Or there's a faster, uh, swinging, less stamina cost, not as much range, but you can also combo your transform attacks and it... Tran oh, it's so cool. The weapons in this game are so fun to use. How do you say her name again? Ice Ice Fioka or something? Are you out on the hunt? I'm Yosefka. Oh, Yosefka. Okay. Must yeah, I can actually kind of see her. Never realized that. If you like look through that little crack, you can actually kind of yeah look. You can kind of see her. That's cool. No. Oh, this wolf doesn't respawn. Interesting. Oh my! What happened to him? Blood is cooked. Didn't lock on. Oh, how dare you! There we go. First kill with a weapon. Oh yeah, I forgot the charge R2 on the Hunter X is really good. Let's talk to my boy Gilbert up here too. Gilbert's a fucking, he's a G. Yeah, these red lamps indicate that you can talk to people. I think, I think Old Yarn was one of my favorite starting locations in the Soul series too. Oh, thank you, Gilbert. You helped out. But yeah, I think the starting area is like one of my favorite starting areas in the whole series. It's so well put together. Perfect length. The aesthetics are on point. I mean, look at this. This is, like, ugly, but beautiful at the same time. So many, where's our Bloodborne remaster? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know I sound like every other, you know, uh, Bloodborne player. I know. I, I know a lot of people are probably sick of hearing about it, but a remaster on this game would be so awesome. 
Oh wow. Oh wow, I'm I'm crazy. Alright, time to show off uh the very satisfying parry mechanic. Oh I I forgot I was Oh my god. Okay, I forgot I was kinda of double handing my weapon there. That was very embarrassing. Nice, that's big, that's big. Let's parry him again. Wow, that was that was such a good parry. Oh no. I am tossing the bag right now. I am... I'm tossing. Oh my god. Okay, apparently I'm ass. That was embarrassing. Hello? You that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want any bit of along, will ya? Wow, so polite. Lads, you've come on. You'd open the door on the night of the hunt. Away with you. Now. Okay. I mean, you could have worded that in a nicer manner, but, I mean, hey, whatever, man. See, I really like the Hunter Axe, uh, Charged R2. It's really good for, like, crowd control situations like that. Do I want to parry you? That was not a parry. That was a parry. Let's go. Okay. I feel like this is what happens when you try to go on, like, a little stroll in Ohio. I'm sorry. Those jokes are so, like... I'm pretty sure people are already done with those jokes. I still kind of find the stupid Ohio memes kind of funny. Oh my god. Kind of forgot that guy was there. Okay. Okay, That that's enough. That's enough. God, I, I, I can't believe I'm not going hitless. Quite frankly, I'm disappointed that I'm not playing with a blindfold right now. You aren't actually a, a, a good Bloodborne player until you beat the game with the blindfold on. Crowd control. Nice. Oh my god, no. Please, no. Please, no. Okay, we run. Oh my god. Dear god. The street is so scary. Oh yeah, I always forget about the tip. Yeah, in Bloodborne, you can just shoot the dogs. And they just drop down. It makes the dogs in this game way less annoying to deal with like they are in the other Souls games. I just can't help but suck this game off. This game is so good. I love it. Okay, then they then they laugh. Yeah, good for you guys, okay? Hi, buddy. Wow, I am... I'm so good. Why can I just not play this game? Okay, torch and Molotov cocktails, and this should be blood vials. Nice, four blood vials. All right, stacking up them heals, huh? We're gonna, we have a good amount of blood echoes already. Going kind of crazy. Okay, see, that's big. That's my favorite way of dealing with this little area. No deaths so far. We're popping off. Uh oh. Now, what I really don't want to do is aggro both of them. Okay, nice. I damaged one. So now I got him running on over. Okay, nice. There we go. See, too easy. Got him. I'm so good at this game. Dear God. Really not that good. Yeah, and then this guy's goofy. Is this the one with the gun or does he just blow up? I don't remember. Oh, he has the gun. That guy's so goofy. I love him. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bitch the cathedral ward, as old Yarna burned to the ground that moonlit night. Lord, this game is so awesome. Okay, that was that was bad. There we go. I'm messing up all my berries this playthrough. This has been really bad so far. Okay, you sound like an ungrateful little bitch, is what you sound like. Uh-huh. Obligated to help. Nope. Oh my god, I almost just died. <laughs> I keep... Okay, I'm, I'm not used to using the two-hand trick weapons, so I keep trying to parry whenever I have it tricked like this, and here's what happens when you try to parry. You just... You just swing. Alright, Cleric Beast time. Time to have my eardrums ruptured by his constant annoying screaming. Oh, 
my best to stay towards his ass, from what I remember. See, I love the playstyle. I think I think Cleric Beast is a great starting tutorial boss for this game. Oh, you silly little blood. Can I actually stab? The boss theme is so good. I love this the soundtrack in this game goes so hard too. Okay, heal up again. Got him half. Him. Another truck attack. Another. Oh, I kind of wanted another truck attack there. Yeah, the strat with him is to definitely just stay at his ass. He doesn't even know what's happening. He's so confused. Another charge door two. Charge door two. Nice. That was big. That's such a fun boss. Such a good tutorial boss too. And then I, yeah, then the raining blood. God, this game is so cool. All right. Well, there we go. Cleric beast down. Uh, the little ones. Inhabitants of the dream. They're so cute. They Look at them down there. Yourself, but still, aren't they sweet? Yes, they're so sweet. God, I love them. Okay, I can now level up with Blood Echoes. How many levels? Oh, eight. I can get eight levels. Let me take one out of and put it into strength. Yeah, I, I kind of prefer that. I like that. Oil urns, I don't use those. I don't use the beast cocktails either. Okay, that's enough. Even though the items in this game are really good, I just I just don't like cheesing fights. So, you know, I'm more of a, you know, I, I know I'm so honorable and so cool. I have such a large penis. I'm awesome. Okay, uh, boom. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, let's fucking go. How'd that work out for you, buddy? God damn, look at him. That yarn on blood goes pretty crazy, doesn't it? Put that down as well. Oh yeah, nice. We can talk to Eileen. I think she has like probably my f one of my favorite quest lines in the game. Eileen's awesome. No Enough tripling in your boots. A haunter must haunt. Haunter must haunt. Love her. Love her voice actor too. Awesome. My baby blue. Dun, 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 dun. My baby blue. <laughs> God. If you guys haven't watched uh, Breaking Bad. You guys gotta um. You guys gotta watch Breaking Bad too. And I, I'm now I'm like demanding a lot of things from y'all. Like if you haven't played Bloodborne, go play Bloodborne. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, then you, you gotta go watch Breaking Bad. Yeah, sit down. You little you little Gucci basket. You little ass ass can. Damn, get shit on. <laughs> okay, that was really nice. Good stuff. Just a normal Florida day here. Yeah, but this first area of the game is so good. I feel like it really, it really does set a good first impression. We have two really good bosses. We have a beast boss and then a humanoid boss. Teaches you the mechanics well while also being challenging. It looks great. The interconnectivity is phenomenal. I mean, really just everything here is just great. This first area just does such a good job at setting up the game. 
Okay, th this guy scares me, man. Okay, never mind. He doesn't scare me. He's a bitch. God, this little quest line makes me so sad. And if you look it up to see the endings to this quest line, there's like no good endings. The best ending is just not knowing if the kid's alive or not. It's super sad. Really, the best ending for this character is to just never interact with them, but we're interacting with them. Yeah, but honestly, guys, um, I guess just to have a little discussion about it, since there's really nothing too crazy happening in the game right now. Um, oh, guy in here. Yeah, but since there's nothing too crazy happening uh, in game right now, these are the type of videos that I actually kind of wanted to make. Much more chill videos, videos that you kind of put on in the background. Maybe there will be some videos that are a lot more fast-paced than this, but these are kind of the videos that I'm a bit more passionate about making. Just videos on topics that I'm interested in. It's kind of the stuff that I covered in the I'm Back video. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of why I'm playing Bloodborne. It's just because this is just something that I like doing, you know? I really love the Souls games. This is kind of my, my thing, you know? Oh, the aggro range is really forgiving with those wolves. Yeah. Oh, never mind. They do not stop. They don't stop. They don't stop. They don't stop. Shh. It's okay. I feel like I'm making him even more mad. Hey, dude. Hi, buddy. Yeah. You just stay right up there! What? Oh, this is a clusterfuck. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, what have I done? And the wolf is down here! Oh my god. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Oh my- okay, I have to focus up right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. How am I alive? Oh my god. Nice. Let's go. Parry mechanic in this game is so satisfying. I will say, though, I kind of wish it was a little harder to parry in this game. Also, there we go. New armor set. It's also one of the things I love about this game is how cool you can make your character. Like, look how cool my character looks. Look how cool that is. Oh my god. Okay. And then the pig over there. I kind of want to go up behind it so I can show, uh, show off, uh, the stabbing in the a- or the fisting of the ass on that pig. I gotta get close enough to activate the fiery ball of death. Or is it a time-based thing? It's a time-based thing. Awesome. Oh, I couldn't do it. Uh, I, I may still be able to do it. Maybe. Oh, no. Yeah, if you do the thing where you do a fully charged R2 and is, uh, and is behind and uh, the, the visceral attack, you can visceral attack his butthole. It's awesome. Oh, killing your buddy. Maybe if you were a little more attentive, you could have stopped that. Now you have to die knowing that you didn't help him at all. Father Gascon time, baby. This boss is so good. Such a fun, just, it, this is like a top of A tier fight right here. If I'm ranking them with all the other, dark, like all the other Soulsborne bosses. So cool, so cool. It's all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. So cool. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm excited. We get the fight, Father Gascon. Okay, I hate. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, let me use the music box. 
Yeah, see, isn't that pretty cool? Like, stuns him. Parry him real quick. All humanoid bosses in this game can be parried. Wow, that was a bad roll on my end. I kind of don't want to parry him too much. I kind of like fighting him just straight up. Hey, I don't have that ability. I just, I'm just gonna put my gun away completely. Damn. Damn, he's shitting on me. Okay, heal up. The soundtrack goes hard. Oh, dude, I needed to dodge that. Oh, my God. Okay, now he's turning at the beast. Kind of like parrying the beast form. Nice, let's go. That's big. Let's go. Such a fun fight. And then I got the tomb key. Such a fun fight. That's awesome. Let's go. Let's go. All right. There we go. Blood gem workshop tool. Up here we go. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Fun fact for everyone, uh, the Ice Fiek, I Ice Fioka, I already forgot how you're actually supposed to say her name. As soon as you get access and go into the Cathedral Ward and see this cutscene for the first time, she gets killed by some imposter version of herself and gets replaced. Really awesome. It's a cool little quest line. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, we I will end the video here in a second and kind of explain what I'll probably be doing in the next video. Uh, but first, I want to level up and then go ahead and go over what's going to be happening in the next video. But let's go ahead and level up and talk to Garman and do all of that good stuff. Fortify. Um, nice, we have enough to level up to plus two. Not enough to level that up. Gascon had some crazy drip. Look, look at this. Look, look at the fire and flames that Gascon was wearing. Drippy, dear God. Oh yeah, chalice dungeons. I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm. I don't think I'm. I may do like one chalice dungeon video where I go through some of the chalice dungeons, but I'm personally not a big fan of the chalice dungeons. I think they're kind of boring. So that's probably one of the few things I'll probably be avoiding. But um, yeah, I, I'll st I'll still do like a video on them. But I'm maybe to like the watchdog of the old lord since that's kind of a specifically chalice dungeon only boss, but. It's probably as far as I'm going with Chalice Dungeons. Not a big fan of them. Oh yeah, that's actually where we're going next video is into Old Yarnum, where um everyone has turned into beasts due to uh the Yarnum blood. It got completely closed off, and now there's just no humans left there. It is only beasts. Let's see, we got three. Throw one into strength, one into arcane. We'll put one into endurance. I don't. I don't think I need. Ah, oh, but I'm so close to another level up. That's sad. Farewell, it's all good though. Alrighty. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, next video we're gonna be going through Old Yarnum and beating the Blood Starved Beast. Um, which it's it's a fun area, fun boss. Really looking forward to that. And we'll also be tying up loose ends because uh throughout the video there was a lot of doors that I knocked on, uh, and I can tell them to come to uh the chapel. So we're going to go back and knock on those doors, tell those people to come back here so that we can get some of the survivors here. But, um, oh yeah, and also go give Gascon's child the, uh, Red Jeweled Brooch. And yeah, and we'll also be doing Blood Starved Beast and Old Yarnum next video. Um, so I hope that y'all have enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, subscribe. 
socials down below if you want to follow those. And, um, yeah, yet again, I really did enjoy making this video, uh, because this is one of my favorite games of all time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this too. Um, and yeah, you know what? Without further ado, Logan Ash is now out. Peace, guys, and have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Peace.